Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.7, problem number 2.103. A heavy rotating drum of radius R is supported in bearings at C and is braked by the device as shown in the figure B. Calculate the braking moment MC which re uh, with respect to point C. If the coefficient, the kinematic friction between the drum and the brake shoe is mu, that means there is a rotating drum which is rotating in this direction. Now we would like to stop this drum by using a setup like brake by applying a force P. Now our interest is to find how much the braking torque MC is applied on the disc. Now let us draw the free body diagram of this rotating disc. The various forces acting on the disc are there is a normal reaction because the brake lever is in directly in contact with the drum, hence there is a normal reaction. The drum is rotating in this direction. The drum is rotating in this direction. So at this point, since the drum is moving in this direction, the frictional force acts opposite to that. Let the magnitude of the frictional force is mu into n. The radius is r. The braking moment is equal to the force into distance which is nothing by mu n into r with respect to c. Since this distance is r, the braking moment becomes mu n into r. Let us also consider this lever, brake lever A and B. The various forces acting on this lever are this normal reaction, same normal reaction acts in the upward direction and force P acts in the downward direction. Now let us take, let us consider the moments about point A. Now this N will introduce a moment like this, the P will introduce a moment like this and then it becomes N into A is equal to P into L or n is equal to p l by a. Now substitute this n here and then you can find the braking moment mc is equal to p l by a into r or the, the net moment mc is equal to mu into p l r by a is the answer 